let's do a quick recap of the exponent law for division. If we're asked to look at 3 to the 6 divided by 3 to the 2, the first thing we need to remember is that division can always be rewritten as a fraction. And then when we're dealing with exponents, a useful thing to do is to write out what the exponent actually means. So 3 to the 6 is 3 multiplied together 6 times, and 3 squared is just 3 times 3. Now it's quite easy to see that these two at the bottom, these two 3's at the bottom, will cancel with two of the 3's from the top. And so instead of having six threes at the top, you've got two less now. So you've got three to the power of four. And three to the power of four, you can actually work out. Three times three is nine, times three is 27, and times three again is 81. And if we were to work with letters, the same thing would apply. If we've got p to the five divided by p to the three, we're going to then write it out, p to the five, just means you've got five p's multiplied together, p to the three, three p's multiplied together. And then the three p's at the bottom will cancel with three of the p's at the top, and that will leave you with p times p, which is p squared. Now notice here, because it's going to help us find a shortcut for doing this, you had at the top five p's multiplied together, and you had at the bottom you had three p's multiplied together. Well, can you see that the three of these p's are going to take out three of those five p's? And so what you are left with is five minus three, which is two p's. Let's look at another example. If we had b to the seven over b squared, what you've got here is at the top, you've got seven b's multiplied together and at the bottom, you've got two b's multiplied together. And what's going to happen is that these two b's at the bottom will take out two of the b's at the top. So what you're going to be left with is just seven minus two, which is five b's multiplied together, which is b to the power of five. Now, if we combine letters and numbers, we, the division is still easy. All we need to do is to look at each of them separately. So if you have a look here, you've got a 20 at the top and a 4 at the bottom. Those are the numbers. So let's divide. 20 divided by 4, nice and easy, is 5. Now let's look at our exponents here. We've got x cubed over x squared. So we're going to have x to the 3 minus 2, which is x to the 1, which of course is just written as x. If we look at this one, Let's look at the numbers first. Negative 6 divided by negative 2, that is just 3. And then we move to the exponents. We've got 6 p's multiplied together divided by 2 p's multiplied together. So we're going to have p to the 6 minus 2. So it's going to be p to the power of 4. 